the roll-up drill. It's uh, some people some people have a problem with it. So we're gonna you know what we're gonna talk about it today. All right, we're gonna talk about the roll-up. What is the purpose? Because I think a lot of times we see things, but we don't dive in deep enough to understand the purpose of the drill. Not all drills are for everybody. Okay. But as somebody that works with a lot of kids, right? I work with professional players, but I also work with a lot of, play, a lot of younger kids. Uh, one of the biggest things is just getting a kid to understand the most direct path that that ball needs to take, all right? So in shooting, especially younger ages, one of the biggest problems I see is players will take this ball and they'll start moving everything up away from their body, set the shelf here, and then they're up through that shot. Our goal is to eliminate direction change as much as possible, right? The, the less direction change in the shot, the easier it is for us to keep that ball moving in one direction, aiding to both the power right, and the accuracy of the shot. So what does a roll-up do? Right? A roll-up keeps us connected. That's the whole purpose of the drill, just to keep us connected. If I would step here to the basket, I'd put that ball right here on my thigh, hand goes off the ball, like I'm waving to the floor here, my chest is up, I'm rolling the ball to what we call our one position, loading our hands, and then giving myself no choice but to then from, from there move this ball up through my shot, okay? Now you notice right now I'm super connected, meaning that ball is very, very close to my body because I'm forcing the connection. I'm forcing myself to feel what it'd be like to move this ball along a really tight path, okay? One position, roll, and then keep that ball moving all the way through the shot. Right? I'm not rolling and then pushing out away. I'm just rolling to keep it connected and get that feeling for what it'd be like to keep the ball moving in one direction. Does this mean that I want players every time they shoot to bring the ball to this exact spot every single time? No, that's not what I mean. Right? In the beginning, we may exaggerate something just to get the feel of it. But if I start to be able from a roll up, feel what it's like to move this ball and get under it early while keeping it in motion, Soon, I can take those principles, or I can take those quote-unquote rules, and I can break them. I can break them and have them cater to me and how I shoot the basketball. So for me, I'm still going to have my hands loaded if I was in my one position, but here is enough of connection for me to still keep that ball moving pretty much in one direction all the way through. All the way through, each and every shot, right? I'm not so worried about keeping it tight, right, as I am just keeping the ball connected and moving, getting under it, and moving the ball in a straight line as soon as possible, right? So is a roll-up for everybody? No, because not everybody's going to need a roll-up. But is it a really good way to exaggerate what connection is and start to get us into the habit of keeping the ball close? 100%, okay? So if you are teaching it, understand those points before either just dismissing it or before just rolling it out there and then just expecting players to all of a sudden miraculously shoot the basketball because they're doing a roll-up. It's not helping with sequence. It's not helping with a lot of things. It's helping with connection. The rest also has to be filled in, right? Like anything, it's just a tool that helps us get to where we want to go.